Even in the dark grey brooding skies, I see her as the spark of Maeve. Moody, wise, fierce and brave, raw but tender, stark but shy, dancing between land and sea to the beating drum of her own duality. But she is older still than that cairn above Strand Hill, older than the passage tombs and ancient runes of Carrow Keel or Carramore, older than the first dance to the melodies of memories that rose and fell upon her shore from Enniscrone to Lissadell or Drummore west to Mullochmore. For she is the earth goddess, whose hazel eyes that fleck with gold reflect her wise, eloquent soul, whose dress, a mix of greens and browns that weave and wind and wrap around her shoulders, breasts and shapely hips, will now she warms her hands and sits, staring into the flames of her own fire. And in the old tongue, that the soul still speaks, I listened as she sung softly to the waters of her inner child, summoning a tree song sewn into the fabric of her mind. And as she sang, I heard the roots of every word ring out as truth, as every syllable and beat reclaimed the ground beneath their feet, and spread from west to east, and then from north to south and back again, as Fola closed her eyes and sang to all who've been since time began, and all who are and will yet be a branch upon her sacred tree. And there, as the black boar of Ben Bulban stared south to Schlieve in, where the womb that birthed the dreaming of our story still remains, I saw the ghost of Fergus, that king of old in days long gone, rise up again to tell the thorn, as though inspired by her song. As Ushin, 
born once more a deer, ran through the glen and disappeared into the portal of the she that marks the face of Shlevenari. And I, a mortal there to see, saw Sligo as it used to be, a place where kings and queens were made, where legends lived and fairies played, where land and sea were intertwined and married to the human mind. And still it is, for those who know that magic lives and magic grows, for all who dream and dreaming still, who walk the woods around Loch Gill, or row the lakes, or surf the waves below that grave of old Queen Maeve. And from the mound of Schlieve the Oain, I heard her voice resound again, as winds that whispered through her trees that rustled in her leaves and blew, where well, rivers grew from mountain streams, and this at last she sang is true. That all of this is someone's dream, so dream again and dream anew.